The 163rd Great New York State Fair officially starts tomorrow, and part of the hype leading up to the fair every year is the unveiling of the ever-popular butter sculpture. We said we'd bring it to you live. It's happening now. News 10 Now's Brad Vivac was at the Dairy Building this morning for the special unveiling. So, Brad, in just about a couple of seconds, we should find out, right? That's right. Not too much longer, Julie, till we find out some officials behind me. I'm keep trying to keep it down while they explain uh, who is actually here before they unveil the 41st annual butter sculpture. And as we speak, they're just about ready to do that now as they make their way into this 12 by 12 glass refrigerator where this uh, a highly anticipated butter sculpture will be revolving. We've got members of the American Dairy Association along with, of course, state fair officials here to unveil the uh, butter sculpture. And as you can see, they're beginning to get ready to pull the curtain so we get a first-hand look at this butter sculpture. And I guess we can tell you as soon as uh, you get a good look at it, as you can see, Dan O'Hara in the main shot. And there we go. The butter sculpture entitled Cow Power has officially been unveiled. And this year's sculpture uh, really models uh, the future use of green energy from products produced from a cow. And this uh, actually depicts a cow operating a milk delivery truck. As you can see, it's now revolving. You see uh, another cow on the back of the truck. And really what it demonstrates is how the products of cows will be able to produce the, enough energy to transport milk to homes and also to keep it cool as well. Now we want to just tell you a little bit about uh, some of the history behind this. Uh, this is the seventh straight year this model is being put together uh, by Jim Victor and his wife Marie Pelton of Pennsylvania. It took them about 10 days to do. They worked on it between 8 and 10 hours a day to, to put this together. And it, that uh, butter sculpture you see actually has to stay in that refrigerator at a temperature of about 30 degrees. So while they were constructing this, they had to uh, work with very, very cold uh, conditions, obviously, but they are uh, nat nationally known as a sculptor, so they're certainly used to those temperatures. Some fun facts here. This year's sculpture weighs as much as three newborn elephants or as much as 1,049 copies of the newly released Wii Sports Resorts game with its controller. So that's just a couple of fun facts there for you. Again, as it was last year, the butter sculpture will once again be used by SUNY ESF to uh, break the sculpture down at the end of the fair to use it for 100 gallons of biodiesel. And of course, we all know how important dairy is to our state, New York State being the third, lead, third leading state in the country as a dairy producer. We will uh, momentarily try to get uh, an interview with Beth Meyer. She is the uh, actual communication specialist with the American Dairy Association. Beth, if you'd just like to come over okay. here for a minute. Just uh, tell us, obviously, the, the butter sculpture behind us unveiled. It's certainly exciting for the Dairy Association. Really exciting for the Dairy Association. You know, I was saying, kind of in a whimsical fashion, imagine a world where cows are not only producing nature's most nearly perfect food, but they're also producing the energy that it takes to bring it to market and keep it cold. We're not at that point yet, but we do have farms in New York State that are actually generating their own electricity, enough to power the farm and beyond through um, a process called manure digesters. So uh, it, talk about the ultimate in green energy, and that's really what we're celebrating here. So again, I kind of tried to explain to our viewers what this model depicts. Just if you can, in your words, uh, explain what, uh, what we have here. We have uh, really the ultimate in home delivery of milk. We've got uh, our cows that are producing the milk and then they're driving it right to your home, the ultimate convenience. Um, there's so many details on here, it's kind of hard to describe. My favorite part has to be, if you can see the little hood ornament, is a cow head. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I, I hope people enjoy it. And uh, just come on out to the fair, take a look. And one more question before yeah. I let you go. Obviously, this is the centerpiece of the Dairy Products Building. Uh -huh. Very special year for the Products Building as it's it's 100 years old, this, uh -huh. this fair. Yeah. Uh, just talk a little bit about what else is here in addition to this butter sculpture and why it's cool to come and check this building out. Well, lots of reasons, and most importantly, the food. Um, I think one of the fondest memories of the fair is the 25-cent white and chocolate milk at the Rainbow Milk Bar, ice cold milk, and I know people line up for that for miles around. We also have every kind of dairy product you can imagine in the building. A variety of New York State cheeses, obviously people's favorite ice cream and milkshake and sundaes. You can visit our county and state dairy princesses at their booth. Um, so just come on in, check everything out, and uh, eat up. 
Certainly a lot to do and an amazing uh, site right there. Yeah. Beth, thanks so much for all that uh, insight and information. We appreciate it. And, of course, uh, we'll try to get a lot of people here to check this thing out. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you. Beth uh, Meyer, communication specialist with the American Dairy Association. And, again, uh, Julie, very exciting, not only for the dairy products building, but the entire New York State Fair. Obviously, every year, the unveiling of this model is the unofficial start of the great New York State Fair. It Julie. is amazing how much work went into that 10 days as you mentioned and you know the dairy building is always extremely busy when I go and besides the butter sculpture she mentioned something that is also a staple of the fair there is something about that quarter milk I don't know if it's the temperature or how fresh it is but I mean people line up for that. That's right yeah you could take advantage of that and a good day to do that if you're coming to the fair on Monday Monday is the actual dairy day, and uh, the Rainbow Milk Bar, it's just around the corner from us. You can get chocolate milk for just a quarter, so you want to take advantage of that if you're coming here. And uh, really, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, the importance of dairy in New York State. Out of all the states in the country, New York is the third leading dairy producer in the entire country. So dairy, the dairy industry, very, very important to, uh, to New York State and the entire country. And it is one thing to see the butter sculpture on TV, another thing completely to see it in person. So if you're heading to the State Fair, everyone, check it out. It's great. Brad Vivacqua, thank you. Brad Vivacqua reporting for us from the New York State Fairgrounds.